Uh, God. The planter is not going to be... Oh, okay. Yeah, that seems good. Actually, we might have a planter. Yeah, I, I did have to build one at one point. Where would a planter be? Planter notes? Wait a minute. I think it was... Okay. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I remember why I did it. What? Okay. No, no, nothing. Nothing. There's nothing at all. It's never existed. So I need to build another planter because the last planter I used was put into my sigil. Copper, some pistons. Two. So, yeah. Taco Bell. Freaking Super, Super Smash Brothers out today. Fucking love this. He's played it all day. <laughs> it's out already. Yeah. It came out today. You know. Hmm. Already. It's just a fucking place. It's been, just been playing it all day. fucking day. The online feature, I just love it. Just, just, just do it mindlessly. For some odd reason, there's like a character, Pit, who's an angel, and his pink, he has like an entire outfit of pink that looks like that breast cancer type of pink. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a joke that he's like breast cancer, right? That like he's fighting for a cause, which is breast cancer. He's he's raising money for it, and every time I joke around like that in my head, fucking. <laughs> you believe it a little bit more. Every time I joke about that, it seems like he fulfills that role, and he's like, "Fuck one, breast cancer." <laughs> <laughs> and I was, I could just imagine. <laughs> <clears throat> There's also a fan service character in there that was obviously added in for fan service. Worst moves ever, and I think to myself. And keep in mind, this character that is fan service is also a character that he developed in another game. So it's like, why is it so crappy? <laughs> why are <laughs> you so crappy? I think it's meant because she's meant to be more of a tank-like character because there's hardly any of those. But I didn't know. Did you pull that off too well there? Actually, now that I think about it, I might be able to work with the factory, is what I was thinking. Because the thing I was, I was planning to make a, an 18 by 18 by 5 tower of sorts, so it would repeat right after that, above it, mm -hmm. and it would keep going as much as we needed to make massive, massive farm. But, uh, I suppose if I don't put an, I don't put a second level and stuff like that, we can use it for trees as well. For trees? Yeah. I love those trees. That's treason. You're not allowed to love trees. Hmm. Trying to think here on how how to make this perfect. Hello. <clears throat> All right, so this is like this video of Smosh making like a Dumb and Dumber type of okay. promo, and I don't know, they're not as funny as they used to be, bro. It's like y'all, uh, it's like y'all uh, cast, they're not as good as I want them to be. I don't know why. Why do YouTubers eventually become shit? Like what happened to bu to both to to Buskis, huh? What happened to him? I don't know, I never really paid much attention to it anyway. To what? To, to, to Buskis. To what? him, at any I like how you didn't even acknowledge his name, you're like, to it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> That's just, just, it's just how low he became. <laughs> I mean, it. Um, I don't know, I think, I think part of it's because you, you become more, um, of a product kind of a way. Mm -hmm. 
You know, like, uh, your initial conversations are interesting, but then after time goes on, we you've, hear, you've heard more and more of them, you know? So you start running out of new content kind of thing. Yeah. So it's 5, 10... So that's that's one of the reasons why I think it changes. I don't know. Uh, but as well as it, though, your production quality goes up. So you start putting out more um, really high-level products and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And people kind of like the 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 new products from once every once in a while. They they go out for those more off-brand things every once in a while. Like this. It's like you oh. love Oreo cookies, right? Yeah. But then, then they come out with the, the fancy fudge Oreo cookies, and it's like, oh, Oreo cookies just doesn't seem as good as it used to. <laughs> well, try this new one. Hold on. I don't... Yeah. That's a, it's a big... Yeah. It's cold outside today. Negs are 14. What the fuck? I thought this was supposed to be global warming. Just throw that out the window there. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. I don't know about that. Well, it's just because you've had Oreo all... Like, if you lived off of Oreos, would you want more Oreos? I don't know. You know, when I was there, you know, I thought I ate all the Oreos I could, right, in life. And then there, they gave you, like, fresh... Fresh off of, like, the factory floor type of Oreos. Like, I thought I had... they were on the floor. (laughs) I mean, I thought... I thought fresh Oreos was one thing, right? Opening a package to fresh Oreos, right? Mm-hmm. But having them pre-made the next next day, you know, they're like these these things aren't, aren't even an hour old yet. Here you go. <laughs> oh, type of Oreos. You think completely different afterwards. <laughs> Those are the Oreos that change your mind, and they're they're basic. So, uh, what do you gotta say against that, Chris? I don't know what's wrong with you. What? I think you're broken, Ava. No, it's just crazy. It's like having ice cold soda when it's fresh from the refrigerator. You know what I mean? I don't know. Soda's, soda's gotten kind of old. I just kind of drink it because it's there. Well, I... It's the only thing that's cold nowadays. I don't know. There's always cold water, though, I guess. But you need to have a system set up for it. Which I do, so I have yeah. a constant supply. But it's not as I have to sit there and pour this water, or I could just pick up a can, pop, and it's that simple. <laughs> and it's just like I find myself from time to time in a position of like of of, of unsureness. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to go for a pop because I could just pull it out, or if I want to go for a water and then have to stand there for like ten minutes. <laughs> More or less, yes. It's too convenient. Everything's too convenient. I need to eat food. It's not convenient. I need it more convenient. Tin, tin cans. <laughs> Just like that. I wish these were tin cans, because tin cans you eat faster. I don't know about that. I got, by the time I've Wait, eaten three yeah. tin cans, you'd have eaten basically one pork chop. Or one bacon. Eight, That's one, one of the reasons price. why they're so useful is because they actually are quicker. I don't know. I would eat the uh, bacon and just get it over with. <laughs> why, don't you just, why don't you just die and get it over with? You're wasting your time with the living part of it. Don't worry, Chris. I'm re- I, already, I already signed that bit. Okay, so. It's I need to extend the world because apparently I've gone I'm going beyond it. I'm beyond the world now. So can I run over crops? Yes. Okay, that's good. Just don't jump on them. Or they'll attack you. For being so rude. I'm gonna extend this just a little bit. Ha ha ha, yeah. Look at that. That's a very pretty, pretty, pretty pickaxe, man. I like my pickaxe. It looks really good. It has a bunch of colors. It's quite stimulating to my brain and eyes. I like this. I like this feeling. This high. This contact I high. I don't think you can stimulate your brain and eyes on TV, on 
YouTube. I, I think you gotta you gotta do that off screen. Not not here, bud. <laughs> That's unacceptable. We're gonna have to bump our rating up at this point. We're gonna have to adapt to Twitch now. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch standards online. If we go any further than this, I don't know where we'll be. So I see I've seen that they incorporated ads to uh, Twitch now. I'm pretty sure they had them for like ever. Not forever. Not what forever. Is that noise? Ever. It's, it's my like breathing ass. in the background. Your face. That's what it is. Alright, three points. Alright, so yeah, Twitch has had ads. Hmm. So I don't know where you've been. <laughs> I don't know. I've just seen Under this every time I got in there. Either I'm fortunate enough to not meet an ad for like the past six months. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. They've always had ads. I, I didn't know that. I seriously did not run into an ad for like this past six months. I should not. Or, so what, you've been watching like Twitch and you haven't had ads? Yes. Until like recently. Well... See, the reason why I wouldn't see them is because I've got ad block. Yeah. Um, of course, I, I should turn it off for Twitch, but I'm, I'm not usually over there, you know? Because mm-hmm. I turned it off for YouTube so that I could support YouTubers. But, uh, <clears throat> like, I, as I, while I was on Twitch, uh, I, I would have it on and, and it would, it would, it would disable them. Another reason why I was disabling them was because I was having an issue with them at one point. Uh, where they would like glitch the video. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure why. It could have just been me. Who knows? It's complicated because you know I'm not using like the traditional browser. I would think because because the because uh, Chrome's not exactly the traditional browser. You know, I think they build for like Internet Explorer for the most part. Yeah. Um. So you know that can be a factor sometimes. But I do know they have ads. And over here, and look at this and there. What the hell am I looking at? I just what I hate about their ads too is though is that they're they're non-skippable. Yeah. Um, and I really don't understand non-skippable ads. I don't. It's just that. stupid. Why? Ads have to be so fucking long. There's nothing wrong with a long ad, but the thing is that that people don't really put up the structure that needs to be there for it to be a long ad. Yeah. Like if it's gonna be long, it has to be skippable because after you've seen it once, it has no it has no impact. I don't understand yeah. ads in yeah, general okay, because like eighty, like not eighty, uh, like ninety ninety five to ninety percent of the time, Recently. none of those ads apply to me. Yeah, I totally want something to, for for rigor mortis. Wait, what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where you've been, Ava, but you're getting the wrong ads. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Even all, all the more reason why you should, you know. Like, I've gotten ads for music, and I'm thinking to myself, I don't listen to music, you're wasting your time. And I've gotten ads for movies, and I think to myself, most yeah. of the movies that have come out suck anyway, you're wasting your time. Or I've seen it once, it doesn't have any impact anymore. Yeah. Because after the first one, it's just nothing. Sometimes you get the every once in a while, it's like, oh, you know what, I forgot about that, I should check it out still. Mm-hmm. But then you end up putting it on the back burner and ignoring it anyway. <laughs> because I've got better things to do on an, on my daily basis, you know? Yeah. So I'm just coasting through here. Hey, here's this thing you can go check out. You're like, yeah, that's right. I can go check that out. I'll do that later. And you put it on the back burner. It's just like you favorite it, something like that. And then before you know it, after you're you after you've got a thousand favorites because you've been ignoring things for so long, you come back and you're just like, why do I have this? What and then the you remove it. The hell with that. <laughs> <laughs> I I usually favorite things I plan to go back to. Um, I, I usually delete them, but sometimes they get left in there. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a bit extravagant. I'm like, I bookmark a few things from time to time that I think is useful. Well, I put it in a special spot because like my important bookmarks are elsewhere. Well, yes, but it's, 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 yeah. and it really depends on what I'm looking at anyway. Because the thing is, I, I scour the internet sometimes, and I end up in the most random places, and I'm like, you know what? I should check this out. <clears throat> 
similar to how I do with ads. <laughs> <laughs> so. But, I mean, I like I like YouTube system for skipping them because, you know, five seconds. If you don't get their interest in five seconds, it's not a good ad in the first place. <laughs> like, I hate those ads that are movies, right? Yes. And they give you this massive green screen with, like, oh, blah, 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 some random gibberish that they all seem to do, and I don't know what it is. I never read it, nor do I ever plan to. Um, but you care <clears throat> enough, too. And all I get to see is this green box on my screen with text on it that's white for, like, four to five seconds, and then I'm at, at, right after it's done with that, I'm like, you know what? I don't even want to see this. Whatever this is, it can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> because you wasted my time with a massive green screen well, for, for no I, reason. For, you know, for... No, there's a reason for that. I mean, come on. What are they going to do? Tell me there's a copyright on a movie? It's like, oh, whoop to do I, I'm not the copyright people. I don't need to worry about a copyright. Just tell me the movie. In fact, the majority of the ads that you get for movies don't have that green screen. So why in the world did they suddenly have it? Was it that necessary to waste your time on the consumer level with copyright? Which I'm assuming is what it is. I, I don't actually know. I don't Probably think it's some copyright. PG-16 so. or something. Yeah, it's more about parental rating. It, which doesn't matter. Why don't you just put the box that has the number on the corner just like TV does. TV is much more efficient than movies at this point. Yeah. So but this is TV we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so they have to be pathetic and useless. Yeah. And thus waste their time. Movies, and hours. Movies, I don't know if movies is a thing of the past, but uh I'm sure it's only a thing of today. <laughs> yeah, they they're not very mainstream. I mean movies are awesome. <clears throat> don't get me wrong, but uh Like at this point, you know, you, you get on YouTube and whatnot, you get you get like billions of billions of of more content than you would if you go to like movies level. Well, the thing about movies is their production, but still. And they're dedicated you can come across to the story at that point. You can come across. A finished product, by the way. Yeah, you can come quite a, across quite a few of those, though, in YouTube, too. Yeah. Like some good level of production. Of course, These. the issue is in finding them. Because, you know, YouTube doesn't really have the best ads for their stuff either. <laughs> you know? Because <clears throat> at least movies make ads, YouTube doesn't usually do that. No. But I do like... Though there are some. There, but it is nice going out to the movies, to the environment, to the people, atmosphere. Yeah, that's about it, you know. That's one of the reasons. <clears throat> and that's one of the reasons why movies are still around. But, uh... But, I mean, why does it? Why do they have to be so useless at the job that they're trying to do? I don't know. I just find it more... Like, do they... Are they so disconnected the from... Up. The hold world? the fuck up! How do you? Hold up! Hold up! Who the fuck? Who do? Who do you think you are? What do you think you're doing? Who? Do, who? Who? You being attacked by a zombie? The hell? Did you think it was me? I was coming over to give you a hug with my telepathic zombie friend. Where did he come from? Uh, well, I'm working on an area that's kind of dark, but I—he's over there, so I don't know how he got over there. Is he a creeper? Because I mean, I'm extending this area. Quite a little bit, as you might be able to see from space. There's a spider over there. Where the hell did you get your ass in? Actually, there's quite a few over there. What the hell's going on? There's a creeper. They are spawning over there. Wait, the creeper's inside the cage. Did you remove the torches from the cage or anything like that? No, I have my freaking grid on. There's a creeper over here somewhere. He's inside oh, the animal. This thing. is why, because you idiot. First of all, turn uh, on F7. Uh, Second of all, just, stop breaking things and not replacing the torches. One job, Avon. One job, and I'm building an entire section over here no, and dealing with it completely fine. What zombies have spawned are contained. Have some pride in your workmanship, man. Nothing. Nonsense, Chris. Surprise, he's doing it, doing it out the window. The to the wall. You're, getting, you're gonna get cuck, you're gonna get kicked out of the army. <laughs> they have pride. You don't have pride. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. I failed you. So, have you ever, have you ever, have you ever seen someone clean out the inside of a ice machine before? No. So, I'm sure it's not pretty, but no. So why would you get ice now? 
Well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> what, what what ice machine are we talking about? Like, is this like an yeah. apartment ice machine? No, 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 I've no, no, no. Never no, really no. come across them. No, are the ice boxes that have ice in them? The ice they boxes go to the store. at like McDonald's. Uh, never seen. Exactly. That's that's where the where the pop is, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh. It's one of those things that's kind of... Eh, we can't be picky about every little thing. Yeah, but... It's best not to look at some things. It's best to be you know? ignorant about some things in life, even. <laughs> it's true. Because, I mean, you know, you eat peanut butter or jelly sandwich, right? Okay. There's there's a high amount of bugs that have been... Well, not a high amount, but there's a, a high level of acceptance to having bugs that fall in, get killed, and ripped apart what and the? put in there. You know, because FD... The... the the federal food people, they can't be about every little thing because it's like, oh, this gnat flew in and got killed, so we have to shut down the entire facility. That's the reason why, you know? So, I mean, we have to, it's good to be ignorant because now you know that peanut butter and jelly sandwiches also contain quite a few bugs because peanuts and berries are crushable and in high quantity. So, I mean, you, you, you miss being ignorant now, don't you? No. No, I'm not I'm really sure too worried bit. about that. I'm not too worried about that so much as like some nasty ass hands scooping some ice into a machine that has like all the minerals of salt and water and everything just on the. You got a problem with it. minerals of salt and water? It's like that McDonald's has been the twelve, fifteen years. You know, it never has really gone anywhere, and you think they have. I think that ice machine has been replaced about only once in the past seven years. So, uh, I'm pretty sure there's seven years of something in there. Well, there's only so much you can worry about. So long as it's not, of course, being contaminant, mind you. There is a level of acceptance and a level of wrong. Okay, you know, like, it's like the bugs in the, uh, in, in the peanut butter. In the PB and J. They. They're um, they're within tolerable levels, you know. They're not, yeah, not... really rampant issues, <clears throat> which is why it's 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 okay to still eat them. But you know, it is something that happens, and and the number amount is higher than you probably think sometimes. <laughs> Get a whole brooch in there. It's not impossible, I suppose. <laughs> I think it'd be a bit more problematic the fact that they had roaches. <laughs> <laughs> See. Uh, it's one of those things, it's like, it's like none of us want to eat bugs, but, well, like, none of us want to eat bugs, but it's just, like, it's a normal part of life, and we, we just try to hide it, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, what is it, uh, there's a country out there, uh, it's probably somewhere in Africa, I think, or it might be South Africa, that shuns uh, bug South America eater or something. Eating. What? That shuns bug eating. No, there, there's a place that, like, they'll eat tarantulas and stuff, but there's a place that has a lot of flies. So what they end up doing is they take a pan out back, and they just swing it through the flies, and they make burgers. And it's like, that's it's terrible. Yeah, but... <laughs> but, but it's it's completely, it's, it's perfectly normal. And they got their animal protein, and it's being cooked. Cooked. Yeah. Cooked. Yeah. Cooked. It's being cooked. It's being so, sanitary at that point. Sanitary to an not, extent, yeah. You're not 100%. I see what you're saying. I see what you're trying to get at, lad. I, I mean, it, there are bugs and stuff, and there's cooking factors. I know what you mean. What happens out of Don't that get me wrong fly? About... It was carrying the Ebola, and you missed it. Holy shit. And it was I like think in the if course... anything's carrying Ebola, we've got a problem anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean... It's like you can't be in fear of everything. That's a, that's another thing too. Is that is that we take so much effort to make sure that we we avoid bacteria that there's actually a negative effect to that. Yeah, I swear to God, there was just nothing but freaking CNN for the past two days when I was there. Just, just CNN, 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 and we don't see nothing. <laughs> At eye level. I mean, damn, just the amount of just stupidity. <laughs> oh, there are some pretty bad things, yeah, you know. 
That's life, though. You, you live with idiots, you have to unfortunately deal with the fact that they're idiots. Like, you do X, you do Y, God and you And I'm like, God damn it, see, man, that's not... This is why people stop watching. <laughs> I want to see a fair argument, and so far I'm just getting, like, this high school paper. Extremely biased? Yes. Like, yeah, I don't watch news things much, so I don't really know what CNN's history for all this stuff is anyway. Like, they were talking about closing the borders for, you know, to to, to Africa, right? And I was like, okay, that's a bit extreme. What does that even mean? And yeah, one, of like... course, one guy, of course, was, you know, taking the stance of general public. Like, you can't do that because it's really, you know... <laughs> Hard. <laughs> yeah, not only hard. Like, he, he's like, there's like 40,000, there's 140,000 people traveling. How the fuck are we going to stop that? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Shoot him down. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then he's like, he also emphasized that not too many people are in contact with it. It's not, it's not really contagious when it's in incubation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And I was like, yeah, it's fair, right? Mm -hmm. And then the other guy was just like, no, he's stupid. No, that's the idiot, you know? And then he brought up an example, right? The one that was, you know, stating it was okay not to close borders. That it's like, what are you going to do? Pe people die from dare every day. Are you just going to kill them all? <laughs> and he was like, no. And I'm thinking to myself, we have the ability to. <laughs> <laughs> We have the technology. We can eradicate their entire species. Oh, we almost did that to rabbits. Jesus. So, <laughs> we almost did that to rabbits because they went to Australia. <laughs> it, we're very, very picky about uh See, about the problem with us species. being so powerful is that we, we sometimes overstep our bounds. Like bees. Bees aren't native to America, uh, to the Northern Americans. It will to the Americas, if I'm correct. Yeah. I might have miscalculated. Bees are only in, you know, Europe. So for some odd reason, how they got here, they're just an invasive species. And then people rant about them being endangered. Oh, maybe I planned for three of them. I'm not saying it's bad, but they did contribute a lot to our current ecosystem. So... <clears throat> it was a very interesting ride to Wisconsin. Because, I mean, not only was it very hilly and all that good jazz, but also looking at the like, uh, plant anatomy. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, uh, yeah, sure. Like, there was obviously a lot more conifers there. It's like one block too far. One block! And they had a tendency to only grow on, like, the side that received most light. Yeah. And also, they grew very dense, obviously, to keep heat in during the winter. And the, the trees that weren't coniferous had very, very thin leaves. So, it was just like, yeah, they would also contribute to that. There weren't too many shrubs there. But there was a lot of medium grass. Now keep in mind, tall grass can get as tall as, uh, the one reason I used medium is because tall grass can get as tall as, uh, eight, eight, nine, ten feet. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah. And cutting your grass is healthy, so do, do it. It's good for your own. Good for the soil. Yeah, the sea grass uh, consumes more nutrients and whatnot if it gets taller, and then it blocks its own as well. Exactly. Because it's stupid like that. <laughs> it's very simplistic. It was built with the idea that it would be trimmed by, like, cows eating it and stuff. 